Hello everyone, it's TIJ and welcome to episode 18 of the Ashes Cricket Player Career Mode with Joe Root. Today, we are finally back home. We've been playing for six months over in Australia and New Zealand. But finally, after gruelling tests against Australia and New Zealand and one day games against Australia and T20 games against Australia and, and T20 games against New Zealand and one day international games against New Zealand. Oh my god, there's been so many games. We're finally back at home with two tests against Pakistan, third and fourth respectively in the, in the rankings. And this is going to be really competitive, I can imagine. If you haven't watched the videos beforehand, make sure you do go and watch the videos beforehand. I'd definitely recommend it. Um, purely purely because, um, you know, we, we've done quite a lot in this series so far. We've played already six months of the career mode. And we are back at England for the two tests against Pakistan. Now, in our last game against New Zealand, we obviously skipped. Um, if you saw the last episode, we decided to skip the limited over stuff. We didn't bother playing in it. Apparently, they don't exist according to the calendar anymore. If you saw the last episode. Um, but we are back in England anyway. And uh, a bit of news for you. I did reject... Um, the opportunity to be in the T20 in one day series against India. Um, I, I think I might, well, if it hampers um, county stuff, because I want to play a bit of county stuff at some point, if it hampers our county progress, um, we will reject them. But I, I'm definitely going to reject the T20s because I'm not interested in those. Might play a few one dayers, but really it's all about test matches. Because as you know, folks, if you watched this series before, I purely believe that test matches are the, um, are the best uh, form of cricket. And for the first time in this series, we're actually going to be tossing the coin rather than getting the chance to pick head or tails or tails. That's going to be quite bizarre, but uh, let's see what happens anyway. So here we are, here we are then, S Sussex over. I'm guessing the team won't change. We'll find out in a minute, I'm guessing. We're going to play against Pakistan here. Come on, any time now. Uh, no. Oh, actually, um, Gary Balance is our 12th man. I don't think Gary Balance is our 12th man before, but the team looks like it stayed the same. I don't see any notable names that have gone out. And I think it has stayed the same. But Gary Ballett is our 12th man, which I'm sure is different. Um, it's overcast. Obviously, we're back at England, so we've got more of a chance of round, I think it's fair to say. But let's have a look at the toss. So, the Pakistan captain, or I, can't, I don't actually know who the Pakistan captain is now, um, will get tails. And we will win the toss. We went with heads. And uh, I think we're going to go for a bat. Um, try and pick up a good result, uh, a good score, obviously. And hopefully, Cook and Stoneman um, will get a good first wicket partnership. We're back in England for the first time. Well, we're not back in England. We're in England for the first time um, in our tests. Well, what, what's it called? Can't think our, our test matches, our, our cricketing career, really. Um, we're playing as Joe Root. And we're doing brilliantly. And we're 171 for two. Um, we Mark Stone is still in for 77. We'll have a quick look. The match summary is a cook went for 24. Um, Wasim bowled him out. And Salman bowled Vince out. I'm pretty sure that is the correct team um, for Pakistan. I, sort of, I, I did um, import the teams. And we're now coming at 171 for two. So Cook and Vince with some good scores. And hopefully we are now out for the duck. So uh, Salmon, quite a big uh, run rate. 30 off the seven overs. And that's a nice hit. And that should just be the single. And we go back on strike for the next over. One run there. So we're playing against Pakistan. Pakistan, quite a good team. Um, that's the end of, the, <laughs> the, end of the, uh, the session. Brilliant. Can't remember the last time we played Pakistan. I'm sure we played them a few years ago at home. But I can't quite remember. Um, this is true to life form. We do play Pakistan um, at home later on this summer. Um, and we also play India this summer as well, which is really interesting. But obviously this is about the middle of May. So hopefully we shouldn't get too much rain. Um, fingers crossed. Because we don't really want any of that disrupting the play. And uh, hmm, here we are. 174 for two. Stoneman on 78. And ourselves off two off the same meta balls. In comes Wasim. Quite a good field of setup actually here, and that's a nice shot. That's just going to be the single though. They've set up quite an aggressive field, maybe to try and get two real crucial wickets um, quite early on in the game. Cook and Vince have gone, but I think ours and Stoneman's wicket is more um, valuable probably to them. Cook is probably valuable as well, but Stoneman in the Australia series performed really well, and hopefully will continue to here. Stoneman looks like he's going to be the commanding batsman though in this innings, because, uh, well, he seems to have uh, been on strike for pretty much every single ball, but that could be... It is. It's our first boundary of the test series. And that is quite a surprise, you know. I genuinely didn't think that would come. Because it was quite slow moving off the bat. But actually, it came in the end. But uh, Stoneman only scores one, I think, off that ball. Or is it the over? I think it's just one off the ball. And in comes Wasim again. Oh, no. Oh, goodness sake. That's me being so stupidly clumsy. Running when I thought we'd hit it. And we hadn't. Easy for the wicketkeeper, Bangash. Oh, how stupid is that? No question about that. We are out. Oh, silly, silly mistake. 
and that could. Seriously, at this early stage with the decisive points in the test match. Don't worry, I'm not usually this bad. But we have gone very cheaply for seven here. And we're going to skip to the second innings. Let's have a look how we get on. Stoneman's out for 95. That's good in for him. But Milan seems to be getting a good score. He's out for 47. Bairstow is still in for 39. But Overton stumped by Bangash. Still going. Bairstow still in for 104. Ali got 57. Um, and when are we going to get to our last wicket? Wow. Johnny Bairstow. 194. 550 for 9. What an innings this is. I mean, this is quite possibly the best innings we have had so far to date with the England team. What a shot that is from James Anderson. Very impressive stuff. But what about that from Johnny Bairstow? 194 off 259 shots. And uh, our wicket might not quite be as valuable now with Johnny Bairstow getting all that... Uh, Runs, but that is brilliant. And whoa, okay, we maybe uh, skip that a little bit too quick. Um, but we'll just have a quick look at uh, how he ended up. I'm guessing Bearstow is probably out. Um, yes, he. Oh no, he was not out for 195. That's gutting. Oh, it only took a few more balls, but that's gutting in the end. Um, and we're going to just stop at the career player. We might as well just skip the Pakistani. There's, there's limited stuff we can do in the field, and it just just finds it a little bit boring to be honest. But they've had quite a weak innings actually. They are going to be quite a few behind. But Sahail a little bit like. Bairstow has saved their innings, 167 then for him, and we lead by 154 coming into our innings, and unless we have a typical England slump um, and not do very well and we, we have a bit of a disaster, we should be alright. And Vince has gone LBW for 30-something and uh, Stone was stumped. So we lead by, we don't lead by 154, that's wrong, but Ashraf had a really good over, four off the over and one wicket already, and ooh, that's close, we're being so clumsy. Back home, last episode we were fine against New Zealand and we've been quite, quite clumsy here. Whether that's because we've not got any confidence or, or what, I don't know. But we lead by 268 with two wickets gone. That seems quite quite a healthy one, quite a healthy lead. And that's going to be one. And that is a no ball, I want to say. I think it must have been a no ball. We scored two there. And uh, yeah, it's a no ball. So hopefully we can get a real good cop partnership going with Alistair Cook or else this episode is going to be really short because we've had two quick um, wickets. But uh, what, what is that for Carl and that is? That's 3-12 so far. And I've put an absolute misery. <sighs> Dear me, that was close. But it was a no ball once again. So he's going to have to have seven, actually no, eight deliveries. Because he had another no ball. And uh, this is not going well for him, this over. It's not exactly like it's his first over either. And he's really conceded all his runs here, it seems. So he's only conceded 26 off five overs. Which really, most of them have come here. That's the end of the over anyway. We're having quite a poor start to the end. We really need to start... Uh, Doing something here. We've only got one off the four shots so far. It feels like with this game, especially on hard difficulty, um, once you get yourself going, once you start scoring the runs, um, you do alright. And that was quite a poor shot, but we did go try and go a bit defensive there. Uh, once you start scoring the runs, once you start getting a quick sort of tally of runs and getting a pattern going, um, it, it gets a lot better. So that's what I hope happens here. We're going to get just a single though, add to our run um, score, which is always good, always helps, of course. But uh, in is Cook again. Hopefully he doesn't get out too quickly. I thought he was going to be out then. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. But in comes Khan again. The one who really struggled last over to get anything. In he comes. Ooh, that's a nasty bounce. I don't like the bounce. I never have on this game. And it's uh, not too pleasant. Only two off seven. This is quite a disaster. We need to start whacking the ball around a little bit. But that one could risk our wicket early on here. That's a nice hit. That's purely... Um, shroud to the bat, and that should be two. We're back on strike. Hopefully we can stay on strike for the rest of the over and maybe get into the double um, figure scores. Right, in comes Khan again. 29 is considered off 5.4 overs. Quite actually good, um, considering he had a bit of a disaster last over. In he comes again. Ooh, that swung. That very much swung to the opposite side of the bat in the end. Wow. That was uh, That was close. In he comes to the last delivery. That's a Yorker. We're going to hit that one. That's lovely. Straight across the ground. Does it go for a boundary? We're going to run anyway. No, I don't, don't quite think it does. But we're going to go for free. And we're going to be back on strike for the next over. And that is really good running. And that's five off three balls. It's really good for us. Yeah, have a quick slip and see if we drink. I'll tell you what. You haven't commentated for three days. And uh, you start commentating. Your, uh, your throat gets a little bit dry. And you seem to mince your words up more than anything. So uh, I did need a drink there. Nothing alcoholic, don't worry. Just a, just a nice peach squash. Very pleasant taste. <laughs> you 
you can see I've got nothing to say here because I'm feeling it with that amount of small talk. It's unbelievable, but it's not really the most exciting of test matches at the moment, if I'm being honest. In comes the bowler again, Ashraf, and we get another single. I thought we were out then, to be honest. Cooking though, still 78, I think that says, off 92. Blimey, that seems like he's had quite a few shots. But in comes Sahail again. It's going to be interesting. Let's see how he goes. These balls can be deceiving because they can swing. And apparently that's an appeal. But I think he came off our bat from behind. But they're not going to appeal it anyway um, in terms of challenging the decision. They're just going to go with it. They're going to cause a little bit of uh, argy barging, a little bit of pressure for us by appealing in the first place. That's a nice shot. That's a lovely shot, actually. I did not expect to go that far. But it was ideal in all circumstances. To the left. Not reverse swing, but, you know, technically the same sort of thing. And that is a very nice shot. Straight to the boundary. And we finally move in to double figures. 1,351 runs then we've scored. That seems like a lot. Because we haven't scored... That's weird. Because I swear we are only on 1-1-5-0 last episode. Hmm. That's weird. But we scored number four there anyway. Obviously, we did skip... Um, the New Zealand T20s in one day. And as I said earlier on in the episode, if you guys have skipped this point for some random reason or not been watching or maybe been asleep, um, I'm, ju I'm just going to skip some of the uh, limited over stuff to favour some of the county stuff. So I would quite like to get into some of the county stuff. I feel like I'm leaving the county behind a little bit by uh, doing too much test match stuff, but then I guess that's all the same um, for all of the all of the players who play in tests. In comes Ashraf, and that's a nice hit. That's actually not too brilliant. That's an early timing. And it's just going to be the single. 152 then. Alistair Cook gets the one there, and we are back on strike. Oh, dear. Can we get our 50? It doesn't feel like it. We're going quite slowly here. And this bowler has set up a really good field, Ashraf. He's bowling quite slowly paced for a quick one. I presume he's just a medium pace because he's only going 64 mile an hour. And I don't like that sort of bowling. I want it to I want it to be quick in the first instance. And really, the problem is, and um, with likes of these spinners, you have, you've either got to really whack it um, or just hope for the best. And that's nice. Oh, Are we going to get Cook run out? No, we're not. That was lucky, that was. Lucky, lucky, lucky that the wicketkeeper wasn't so quick. But Alistair Cook scored a six. Huh, six and one. Brilliant for Alistair Cook. 86 off 99. Will we pop, follow suit? Let's see if it's a suitable ball. We're going to go... Mm. That was a bit disappointing in the end. Didn't quite lift itself up off the ground. But we do get two anyway. Um, not quite as extravagant as Cook's shot. I think it, it always seems a little bit stupid when you go for a six. And it doesn't really work out. But still, at least we weren't out. In comes the hail again. That one's worked out a little bit better. Will that one go to the boundary? It's got a bit of pace in it. And I think it will. Yes, it will. So that's what? 14 off the over. And the spinner has been a little bit mugged here. Can we get anything off the last ball? We're not going to go be too ambitious. Because that might be a little bit stupid. Because we might get ourselves out. In he comes. Oh dear. Oh I thought we were going to be out there. I did panic. Oh dear. But we've got a little bit extravagant. But we only got the one there. And we're back on strike for the next over. Brilliant stuff though by ourselves and Cook. We're finally getting into this innings a little bit. And in comes Salomon for his first um, over. Can we only make him bowl one over, maybe? Who knows? Or will he be bowling several overs because he gets us out? Again, who knows? And that's gone straight past the fielder. It's not going to quite get to the boundary, though, because it is quite slow. But we are going to go for three here. Um, as many runs as possible. And he's, he's thrown it to the wicket keeper, which takes a little bit longer anyway to get to. Obviously, distance over time and all that nonsense for speed. Um, but Cook's now 96 of 104. So uh, is, he, is he whacked the spinner around again? I don't quite know. In he comes anyway. 31 for 23. We're on. We're doing quite well. A little bit slow, I suppose you could say. Ooh, that's close. We went for it there. And it was a lot slower than we expected. But the, the, the umpire's not interested in any appeals there. But Cook, aggressive for once, which is nice to see. Very interesting. In comes the hail again. That's a nice hit. Lovely off the bat. And that should... Uh, go to the boundary. Yes, it does. Another brilliant boundary. And I think the only, obviously, the only way of scoring big runs is hitting boundaries. Um, and that really helps Trinian to get, uh, get to a good start. 35-25, though, here. And uh, they're not bowling the best o uh, best overs, or the best bowlers here, rather. Um, because we are just simply whacking them off. Um, you know, we're whacking the balls off the bat. Um, and it just seems that we're doing a lot better um, than maybe we could be. And we're actually going to get four runs here. Hopefully, we're not going to run Cook out. Um 
but the fielders took way too long there to sort themselves out. And as a result, we get four runs. The field's been changed, but not massively. They've gone a lot more defensive now. So we're going to try and keep it on the ground, just in case um, we do anything stupid. And that's just going to be... Ooh, it's going to be close. Bit of a dodgy hit, that was. But it was just a single. And uh, Cook's going to be back on strike once again. Still on 96, though, is Cook. Oh, we might be feeling the pressure a little bit now. Salmon got... Oh, 13 off that one over. So Cook must have got 10. Yeah, 40 off 27 roll on there now. Nice hit. Can we get two? I think we can. Oh, it's going to be risky. It's Cook anyway that would be out, so it doesn't really make a difference. But Cook's out. Uh, no, he's not. I don't know what I'm talking about these days. But he faced 500 deliveries. I talk a lot of roofs. Well, Cook's out. No, he's not. Um, 42 off 28. And this is a brilliant in so far. This is good stuff. Oh, that's close. That's out, I think. Ah, no, 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 no. We've had a good inning so far, but we're out. Uh, we're going to have to challenge it, but I know... In my heart of hearts, it is out. I know that in my heart of hearts. Good ball. That's fine. No no risk of a no ball. Definitely hit the pad pads. We don't need any, any edge edger or anything like that here. Yeah, I think that one's out. Unless it does curve a little bit too much. It might be unbiased call. Or it might be just flat on the stumps. Who knows? Quite a poor hit, though, in the end, actually. Just went straight to the stump. Uh, straight to the uh, leg. And Yeah, I think it is out. Let's have a look. I think it's in line. Or is it not? No, it's not. <laughs> Outside off. And mm, I don't really think it was going that way. It swung a little bit more than that. I, I think it swung a little bit more than that. But Hawkeye's always right. Mm, yeah, I think, it's, I think it might have swung a little bit more than that. But we're out anyway. Um, there's no question in there. We're out for 42. A much better score than last time. But a little bit poor once again. And we haven't quite um, got used to our home environment once again. Um, in this test, test match. But we lead by 345. And uh, this isn't too bad, actually. Cook's made his 100. That's brilliant to see. And he's still going for 158. He's now gone for 165 of the same amount of balls. And, oh, actually, we're, we're on day four. Um, and what time are we on? Uh, we are on 3 p.m. So I, as a captain, I'm going to make the decision to declare for the first time in this series. And that's the first for this series. So we have declared 480 for, for eight. And they have got a day and a half. To get 624. I very much doubt they're going to do it. But, uh, you know, just try and get the optimum time to get a wicket. Hopefully that'll work out for us. I think it will. I very much doubt they could get uh, 600 off that time. But saying that, they're scoring quite quickly. And then I doubt they'll be getting a wicket here. But I don't think they're going to get the score. Time's ticking away. And they're doing very well, actually, here. This is quite frightening. Oh, my Lord. It's 3 p.m. And to be fair, the chase is on. They are 400 for two. Shezad, I think is his name. Shezad. 402 for two, and he's got 204 of those one, uh, two, 204 of those runs, and uh, the chase could be on here. Hmm. Right, stop after each wicket, shall we, or each session? Oh, she's going to get close. Oh, the match has been drawn. Of course it would, you silly plonker. Of course it would. They're not all out, are they? Oh, uh, well, we didn't get 10 wickets, and they didn't get 600 runs. So, unfortunately, for the first time in this series, we have drawn a match. What a shame to end the episode like that. But the next test in the end, then, is going to be absolutely crucial. don't really know why Salman's been the, the bowler of the day. You know, six wickets, obviously, he's the bowler of the day. But the player of the match has got to be Shezad, surely. But four really strong scores in those four innings. You know, Bairstow, 195. Sahail, 167. Cut with 165, and then she's had with 215. To be fair, Azam, 105. So if you guys have enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. And I'll be back on Saturday for episode 19, the final test against Pakistan. Let me know what you guys thought of that episode and uh, how we did in terms of scoring. Not too brilliantly, actually, I thought, but you guys might have a different opinion. Anyway, I've been TIJ. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.